Okay, what is going on, everybody? Let's get into it right away and real quickly. A lot of people are upset at Alan Kurtz, a Dice gameplay designer, over comments he made over Twitter. People are angry. They're upset. They feel disrespected. They want this man fired, and all I can say is, wow? Why are people getting so emotional over a man on Twitter commenting factually, I repeat, factually over hardware and plastic? You people want this man to lose his job, to lose his source of income, to lose his ability to provide for his family because you feel disrespected by what he said about a piece of plastic over the internet. So, Dice Gameplay Designer Alan Kurtz on Twitter said, No amount of consumer trust can change that it's just an inferior horse in the horsepower category. And everybody knows, there is no debate about it, that the PlayStation 4 is factually superior to the Xbox One in terms of hardware. You can't argue it. You can't debate against it. It is a fact. As I meant to say, Xbone will always be behind the PlayStation 4 this generation because it isn't as powerful. Now, a lot of people are actually mad this man tweeted Xbone. They're claiming that it's a derogatory slur towards the Xbox One. People, a derogatory slur towards a piece of plastic, an inanimate object. Get your heads together, please. Please, please. Get your head and get yourself checked out and get your heads together. A slur to an inanimate piece of plastic that plays video games. Okay, now, back to the comment. Just because the PlayStation 4 is more powerful doesn't necessarily mean that it will win, but again, the PlayStation 4 is more powerful, and that's not up to debate. The PlayStation 3 was more difficult to get power out of, but it wasn't significantly less powerful. It took more investment. And again, that is a factual statement. He's not lying. He's not stretching the truth. He is telling you what we already know. When asked if DirectX 12 could even the odds for Microsoft, Kurt said, I don't think so. It's not going to be able to reduce the overhead enough to make up the margin. Meaning that even with DirectX 12, the gap isn't going to shrink. In CD Projekt Red, the developers of The Witcher 3, they've pretty much stated the same exact thing. DirectX 12 will help, but it will not close the gap. Again, these are developers talking. You can't take one developer's word for it and then another developer's word against it. You have to take everything into consideration, and CD Projekt Red are very affluent in PC development. Same as DICE, they are very well-versed in PC development. So they do know the DirectX APIs, and again, I would rather trust them over some random no-name clown or some low-tier, low-level development studio. That being said, with the rise of exclusives like Halo 5 Guardians, Kurt said he didn't deny that the Xbox One had several things for it. So how are people claiming that this man is doing nothing but hating and tarnishing the Xbox One? Because right there he said that the Xbox One has several things going for it, including Halo 5 Guardians, which is a highly touted and highly wanted exclusive game. When told that devs would focus on the minimum configuration at the end of the day, Kurtz replied, it's not that simple. If you can push more on our system for the same development cost, you will, and PC is the gold standard. Meaning that with the PlayStation 3, pushing more costed more. But now when everything is pretty much the same, pushing more on the PlayStation 4 and pushing more on the PC doesn't necessarily cost you more. So if it's not costing you more and you can do it, why not do it? Again, I really saw nothing wrong with anything Alan Kurtz said because maybe I'm not a fanboy. Maybe I'm not a corporate slave. Maybe I'm not a social reject. Maybe I'm not a person who gets their feelings hurt easily. Maybe I'm just a man. I don't know. 
But bottom line is, if you're an Xbox fanboy and this is bothering you, you need help. Because everybody already knows that the Xbox One is weaker than PC and is weaker than the PlayStation 4. So why are you upset at somebody telling you what you should already know? You claim to be educated gamers, well-informed gamers, and yet when you're told the truth, you get mad and you get upset.